I'm Lauren from Pack Hacker, and in this video we're taking a detailed look at the Solgard carry-on closet, which I've been testing for two weeks. Let's dive in. As you can see, this is a pretty classic hard shell design suitcase. So the outside of this is made with, it's a um, polycarbonate shell and an aluminum frame. And then these ridges on the front and then actually on the back as well, I'm gonna flip this over as delicately as possible. These ridges here are designed to uh, prevent damage to the entire front face of the carry-on if you are like pulling it in and out of a carry or um, overhead bin or you know as they're tossing things around if you do check this. So you do have a little bit of protection here from like an aesthetic standpoint, but this has held up pretty well. It does feel very plasticky. It bends pretty well as well. So um, you know, no notes really on the shell material or anything like that. We have some wheels down at the bottom. There are four wheels. So this does roll on all fours. Um, there are two wheels on each of these and they roll pretty smooth. They say that they're like frictionless wheels that quote, barely make a sound. Um, and I guess that is true, but I did notice a little bit of kind of like a wobbling noise, I guess you could say. Um, it, it wasn't like the most, it, I've had more quiet wheels before, I guess. So not anything super noticeable, but not the quietest we've seen. Uh, in terms of other things, we have like some branding on the front or the back there, and then additional branding on the front. So overall it has like a really nice sleek aesthetic. There are also these little knobs on the back side of this thing here, cause it is like a hinge opening, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but that is to prevent that like hardware from actually hitting the ground so it does stand up on its own on the back there or like the the side there and then with this carry handle here um, it lays flat against the suitcase when it's not in use but it's just kind of like a plastic grab handle it's not particularly comfortable um, like there's no padding or anything like that here like there is a little bit on the top so I do find that this Hair, uh, carry handle style is a little bit more comfortable. Just lays nice and flush against the suitcase as well. So that looks pretty nice. And then we have last but not least, the telescoping handle. So this telescoping handle has two different height positions, pretty comfortable. There's a lot of movement here, um, which is really nice if you need like it's really nice because then it, it's not like locked into place and it's at risk of breaking um but the handle itself wasn't particularly comfortable it's just like a pretty plastic design like there's not really much comfort here or priority on comfort so if that carry handle is something that you're really like focusing on that's something to keep in mind um, for me as well i have a bit of a smaller hand and i never really felt like it could like wrap fully around there comfortably so that's more of like a me thing but again something to keep in mind we also have underneath the carry handle, gonna move this around a little bit, there is a spot to um, plug in a charger. Uh, so we there's a spot for a battery bank on the inside, which I'll show you in a bit, and then it plugs in on the outside here. And then if you're not using it, it just covers nice and easy. And then the last thing we've got on the outside here are these four panels on the top side of the suitcase to add a little bit of extra durability when they're tossing this thing around so that the um, top sides don't cave in or anything. Like I mentioned, this thing has a pretty sleek aesthetic. There's nothing quite excessively notable about the outside of it. In terms of the height adjustment, this is the lowest setting for the uh, telescoping handle. I'm five foot six, so this is where it rests like right against my hip. And then a little bit higher is up here or like the tallest setting is right here. Um, this is too high for me to be comfortable. So that lower one is definitely the sweet spot for me, but that is, those are the two options that you have. In terms of rolling, it rolls pretty smooth back and forth. Um, as I mentioned, nothing terribly notable there. Um, functions kind of like normal. And then we do have this top carry handle for quick grabs. And then this is that side carry handle um, where it just kind of like lays flush against the end there. It does just kind of have like a classic suitcase, like briefcase vibe. Um, but as I mentioned, the lack of padding there isn't the most comfortable thing in the world. If you're finding this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. What makes this really unique is both its opening system and the organization system inside. So the way that you open this 
case is you have the TSA approved lock on the side here with that big carry handle. And um, once you wanna open it, you just press these two little like nubs in. They kind of, you can see they like come out a little bit from the suitcase. You press those in and this pops open these two tabs here. So that is how you open and close this suitcase. There's no zipper or anything. So you can see that when I open this up, here is their organization system, um, which I'll get into in just a second. But a quick note here is with this little buckle here um, on this top edge, that like clips together and stays together so that when you open up the suitcase, like the top half here doesn't just like immediately fall down, which is a pretty cool feature, um, not something we've seen on a lot of other suitcases. So that is pretty unique. And I do like that because this clothing system is designed to open up and you can hang it off the telescoping handle of the suitcase and then you leave the bag open at like a 90 degree angle and so this would keep it at that 90 degree angle so it's not like rolling around and opening up and all that stuff so that's pretty cool you can see that like right when i opened this up i kind of snapped it back into place that is a little magnetic opening and i've noticed that with that magnetic opening and actually the one on the inside here which when i shut this it was actually put together um, and it popped open on its own. So it does have the capability of doing that, but that's, you know, not something I ran into super, super often, um, but just something worth noting. So on this side here, you can see that like I have nothing in this compartment and everything is over here. And that is because this is their clothing system that came with this carry-on. And so with this packed up with all of the clothing, plus some extra, like I definitely wouldn't pack this much. Um, this goes in this side of the compartment and then you flip it shut and that fits everything in here. I, if I wanna open up this side here, unzip it, and we've got like a couple of things in here which I'll get into in a second, but if I wanna fill this with gear and get it all situated and then zip this up again, not there we go okay so if i wanted to fill up this compartment here and have this clothing system in you can see that when i go and close it it doesn't actually shut so when you use this carry-on clothing system you do sacrifice all of the extra storage on this other side which means that any extra stuff that you have is going to have to go in this extra top space so you can see i have just like a little toiletry bag up there but let's say you know, you have all of your clothing in here and you need like an extra pair of shoes, you'll have to just kind of shove those in. So it's not the most convenient for me. I think that with our emphasis on minimalist packing, we don't really have times where we need this much stuff. Um, so this ended up just being like, I was almost like filling the space just because. Um, but if you did bring less, then you could really compress it and then you wouldn't have to use cubes or anything. Or you could use cubes, kind of up to you. So I'm gonna take this out. That's another thing <laughs> that I have with this. Um, you, it's kind of hard to just like move around very easily. It, it just kind of goes all over the place. But for the sake of this review, we're just gonna be looking at the actual carry-on itself. So when you open this up, you have a ton of space on this like bucket side of things. These two flaps have zippers on the top of them and they're little mesh pockets. So you can stick gear in there. This is where the um, uh, uh, battery bank that you have that goes to the outside of the carry-on that goes into this zippered compartment here. And then this side, like most other carry-on bags just has you know a zippered space for all of your small items. Um, so that's pretty handy too. In here, you could definitely do like shoes in these pockets. Um, I did a water bottle, so it's kind of up to you, whatever you want. But in terms of um, the, the storage space that you have in here, it's pretty convenient because this is going to be a lot of your cubes or that big packing system. And then over here is where you can put like a lot of your smaller items. However, it's worth noting that because there's no zipper, if something happens to one of these buckles that connects to the outside here, or if you know TSA needs to get into your bag to check something out, there's a good chance that your stuff could kind of go flying everywhere. Um, that I think is something that is very, not, not very likely to happen, but it's something to consider because it's not a zipper design that there's uh, fewer things to like, I guess fewer things that can fail or, um, and impact the actual use 
of this uh, carry-on bag. Um, and then another thing to note is that there's no like expansion system or anything like that because there are no zippers. So um, overall, it's got a pretty unique storage system. I think if that clothing uh, system is a big seller for you, then that's gonna be great. Just keep in mind that you can't put any additional gear over here. Uh, you, so you do lose out on a little bit of space, but overall with the rest of this, when you're not using that clothing system, it does function largely just like any other suitcase you would have. So there you have it, the Soul Guard carry-on closet. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.